Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study some of the question answers from the chapter number 5, Periodic Classification of Aliment. This chapter is under CBSE standard 10 syllabus. This question answers are from page number 81. So the first question is, did Dobrenius triads also exist in columns of Newlands octave? Compare and find out. Here they are saying that whatever triads Dobrenier has suggested, whether can you find out or whether can you spot those three elements in same group or same period somewhere, can you find out the same three elements in one sequence? So yes, and we will compare the two periodic table of Dobrenier and Newland. We will get to know that there are three elements and one triad. That yes, in Newland's octave, lithium, sodium and potassium are placed in second group and it is also suggests that. Now we are comparing. So here first question's answer is that this is a triad which Dobrenier has suggested and these three elements are in a same group in Newland's octave law. So this is the similarity. Now let us compare it. So these three elements have same properties. Because if they have same properties, then only the Dobrenier has put them in the same triads and here also they are in the same group. So what it suggests according to Newland's octave law, the properties are repeating after the seventh element. So here it is lithium, then it is sodium and then potassium. That means after all the seventh elements, the eighth element has the same properties like the first element. That's what this statement suggests, that this is the similarity between this three element. So, Dobrenier has put this three element in triad and Newland has put this three element in the same group. Second question, what were the limitations of Dobrenier's classification? So, these are two limitations of Dobrenier's classification that he gave only three triads. And in each triad, he gave only three three elements so the three triads were the group of three elements each so he gave only three triads and that too for only nine elements so his complete arrangement was only for the nine elements out of all the elements were known at that time at that time almost 56 elements were known to them out of that he could arrange only nine elements into his triad Second is he failed to arrange all other elements in the table or he failed to comment about it. He could not suggest anything about rest all the elements. So these were the two limitations of Dobrenius triad. Third question, what were the limitations of Newland's octave law? So these are the three limitations of Newland's octave law. What was the Newland's octave law? That he arranged uh, elements in increasing order of their atomic masses and he arranged such that that every eighth element will have the similar property and that element has to be placed under the first element and he compared this arrangement with musical notes. So that's why it was known as Newland's octave law. Now the first limitation is his arrangement was only till calcium. So only till calcium his arrangement was hold true or it was hold true for only for light elements and not for the heavier ones. Either one of this you can write that his arrangement was only for the lighter elements and for heavier elements if we are following the same thing then it was not holding true for the heavy elements. Or we can write like that that his arrangement was only hold true till calcium. Now the second is cobalt and nickel have been placed in group where their properties are not matching. So these are two elements whose places were wrong. They were placed in the wrong place and with rest other elements their properties were not matching. Now iron has been placed separately from cobalt and nickel whereas cobalt, nickel and iron are having the same properties. But Iron that is Fe has been placed separately from cobalt and nickel. And one more limitation if you want to write then you can write that when the noble gases were found out 
the noble gases were found out much late after this new lens octave law but once the noble gases have been found out this law has become irrelevant because there was no place where we can fit in all the noble gases so we can also mention here that when the noble gases have been found out it was a question that where can we place those noble gases